Unused program, the Executive MBA program, is unique because it has collaborative classes. It integrates the latest scholarship with business leaders and practical solutions to business problems. Students are going to have an opportunity to first learn how to sail. They're going to organize themselves into teams. They're going to practice sailing. And then they're going to have a regatta. They're going to actually have an opportunity to race and compete against each other so they can learn to function as a team in a highly effective way. And boats are a very unique opportunity to do that. We have uh, five boats, five teams. They're all identically matched Catalina 37s. They're used for a lot of different racing, professional sailing events. The coaches will be there only for safety, and it will be up to the teams to figure out how to sail the boats and how to win. They have to be able to make tough, quick decisions. Sailing and business are very similar. There's at least one leader there, and there's at least two people that are thinking about their teammate. A good teammate does not exhibit selfish behavior. That is the best thing you can have as a team leader, as a teammate, is when your team is fighting for each other. I think each day they're learning more and more to trust each other and trust each other's intentions, trust that they want to win, they want the same mission that they want. So the best teams have a group that are good teammates that are trying to impress each other and do well for each other, but also very clear leadership that are communicating what they're trying to do out there. One of the most critical things in sailing, sailboat racing, is figuring out time and distance. That's one of the things you're going to learn today, figure out is the optimum angle as you're zigzagging or tacking back and forth. You need to know where your leader's voice is, otherwise you'll listen to them and listen to them and everyone's trying to talk. It applies in business too, I think. There's a time when it needs to be a clear voice who is the leader. The start of the race, think about the start, nothing else. At the Olympic Games, not thinking about winning a medal, but thinking about sailing well and living in the moment. It's not about the triumph, but the journey. Nice start! Oh my god! I was a little bit panicked. Straight ahead, am I good? Yes or no? Yes! And so I told the entire team to just basically stop the boat and let's discuss and I needed some feedback. Very fortunate to have a very good team, very hard workers and people that uh, want to do their job and want to help out and want the team to succeed. Just the anticipation of what's going to happen next, uh, the proximity of the other boats and the adrenaline rush that came from the day, it was just overall a great day. My team really stayed positive um, throughout high pressure situations. No one on my team was selfish and was willing to do whatever position was the best for the whole entire team. I realized that communicating and being able to perform under pressure uh, can lead to a win. In first place with 10 points, team number five, why don't you the whole team come on up. Give them a big hand. <laughs>